Every minute of every day, suicide impacts the lives of hundreds of people across the globe. It robs families of loved ones, young people of their future, workplaces of colleagues and communities of their most valuable resource, their people. And surprisingly, of the 800,000 people a year worldwide who die of suicide, most saw a healthcare professional in the year prior to their death. Contrary to popular belief, the problem isn't that those at risk are disconnected from healthcare. It's the gaps exist that allow these individuals to slip through. Despite this, healthcare has remained unchanged, presuming many deaths were tragically inevitable. Inspired by the Henry Ford Health System in Detroit, Zero Suicide is a call to action, based on the belief that no suicide is fated. It all starts with zero, because a radical and systematic approach to perfection is the only way to create dramatic change, and it must be driven by leadership's commitment to creating a new culture around suicide prevention. Three specific evidence-based interventions have emerged as central to zero suicide, creating the multi-layered approach that helps ensure no one slips through the cracks. First, we must make it okay to talk about suicide. Healthcare must routinely screen for suicide risk at all patient touch points within a health system. Simple screening questions like, do you have thoughts that you'd be better off dead or hurting yourself? allows healthcare professionals to start a conversation about suicide, create a connection, and acknowledge the anguish and pain. The simple act of asking about suicide risk is more predictive of a future suicide attempt than even cholesterol scores are for a future heart attack. Second, the strongest resource in preventing suicide is always the person at risk. By collaboratively designing safety crisis plans that include reducing access to lethal means and following up with phone calls after discharge, one recent study showed a 45% reduction in suicidal behaviour. And third, we must treat suicide directly. We've assumed that treating mental health and or addiction will fix suicide risk, but that doesn't always remedy the pain that underlies thoughts of suicide. Zero Suicide trains health professionals to deliver specific treatment, as well as caring and supporting contacts, either between appointments or as post-care follow-up in the weeks and months to come. This relentless pursuit of perfection and insistence on evidence-based intervention works the Henry Ford Health System saw a dramatic 80% reduction in suicide and maintained that success over a decade, including one year when they actually achieved zero. And at Nashville-based Centerstone, one of the largest non-profit community mental health programs in the US, they reported a 64% reduction in suicide deaths since implementing these initiatives. And Gold Coast Health in Queensland has succeeded by utilising the resources of the Suicide Prevention Resource Centre, including a specific toolkit with a set of practices and resources for data collection and continuous quality improvement. Additionally, thousands of other organisations around the world are taking these first steps towards zero suicide. Bold visions have put a man on the moon and cured polio. For suicide prevention, there's no more time for half measures and missed opportunities. Only with insightful leadership committed to the pursuit of zero suicide will we be able to make significant strides towards eradicating these tragedies. Zero suicide, healthcare that believes no one should die alone and in despair.